I thank you all for listening, taking the time tonight to listen to me. May God bless you all. And may God protect you. That was President Joe Biden speaking on the debt ceiling deal. Let's bring it back here to green country now. Fox 23's Rick Marinon is live with what Oklahoma lawmakers are saying about the deal. And it's not a unified position that they have. All of our Republican Cong members of Congress in the House and Senate, they're all Republicans, but they don't all agree on this. And we'll break it down for you as to why they voted the way they did. They're all Republicans. They've all talked about smaller government, reigning in government spending and reducing the national debt. But Oklahoma's congressional delegation is not all in agreement about if the debt ceiling deal is good or bad. In the Senate alone, senior Senator James Langford voted no, but junior Senator Mark Wayne Mullen voted yes. Guys, there's some bad stuff in the bill too. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not saying that. It's an imperfect bill, but it's the best bill we could get considering the circumstances. Langford said there is still work to do, but Mullen said there are conservative wins in his opinion that Republicans should be proud of because when it comes to the House, the Senate, and the White House, right now they only control one of the three. As I look at the bill, I see a lot of good intentions in the bill. But I see a whole lot of exceptions. And I see a whole lot of ability for the administration to waive that, waive that, waive that, waive that. That undercuts the purpose of the bill. On the House side, Oklahoma Congressman Tom Cole, Frank Lucas, and Stephanie Bice voted for the debt ceiling agreement and also praised what they call significant conservative wins, despite Joe Biden being president. However, Tulsa area Congressman Kevin Hearn and Eastern Oklahoma Congressman Josh Burkeen voted no. They have concerns, like Lankford, that there are too many loopholes and exceptions the Biden administration has built into the deal to undermine parts of what was agreed to. In a statement, Burkeen said, quote, I cannot in good conscience vote for a deal that continues to kick the can down the road at the expense of our kids and grandkids. This is a huge missed opportunity to turn our nation away from a fiscal cliff. If you are wondering why this got so contentious and why this dragged on for so long, this is one of the major pieces of legislation Republicans felt they had when it comes to accomplishing their goals and getting President Biden on board with some of their wishes. This is probably one of the only pieces of legislation they have until the next election. They will be doing some budget work, but it will not be this contentious. Live covering news that matters, I'm Rick Marin on Fox 23 News.